Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to debug gRPC APIs using API Doc. Let's start by creating a new project and select gRPC project type. Let's name our project gRPC and create. Before we can start our debugging process, we need to import a corresponding proto file. To do that, let me select a file from my desktop and import it here in API Doc. If imported proto files kept updated, you can simply re-import it from here and sync the changes. gRPC supports four method types, unary, server streaming, client streaming, and bidirectional streaming. API Doc provides complete support for all four types, so let's take a closer look to each one. Let's start with unary. This works like a HTTP request where you can send a single request and receive a single response. To start, let me enter the IP address and the port in the address bar, and you can use API Doc to automatically generate a message for you. Then, let me invoke this request to get a response, which you can see in this section below. Alongside the main message content, you can also add metadata and authorization details depending on your requirements of the API. If you don't want to manually enter the server address every time, you can save it as an environment from this option. Once saved, you can select the environment and the server from this top right hand corner. Now let's move on to debugging streaming method types, which allow multiple messages to be sent and received. In server streaming, after I invoke my request, the server sends back multiple messages without waiting for the client to send further request. Let's explore client streaming. To begin, I will invoke my request first and you will see the interface change slightly here. Now, I can enter a message and send then once again regenerate and send and once again send my request and after i manually end the streaming i will get a response at once so here in this scenario the server waits to receive all the client's requests before sending back a single response after the stream is closed next let's take a look at the bidirectional streaming this method doesn't follow a strict pattern, much like WebSocket communication. For example, here, after I invoke my request, every message I send, I will get a response immediately. And we can continue this until we manually end this stream. So, once the debugging is complete, don't forget to save. And this saves all the debugging information to the current method. This allows your teammates to access and use these saved settings for their debugging purposes in the future. And that's how you can debug the gRPC APIs using API Doc. For more tips and advanced features, please visit our official API Doc website and explore our detailed help documentation. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to share it with others. Thanks for watching and happy debugging.